when people first think of a farm, what comes to mind is large plots of land with one crop growing throughout it. I see farms as something a little bit different. I think it's important to bring food to people who live in a food desert. That's that. There's also a lot of importance for me in bringing a green space, not just a green space to be in, but a space that is diverse like nature, a space that you can dig into the soil and you see worms and you see the pill bugs and the soap bugs. It's just constant life and constant movement and interaction. I think it's really important to bring an ecological like safe haven to a city, any city, but especially Los Angeles, which is sprawling metropolis. So hopefully the grand opening will be a fun time. It'll kind of be like a farm fair, lots of little different things going on. This space is ultimately the Watts community space, from education to just coming in for respite. It is something that Mudtown emphasizes that I find a lot of other farms and farmers would never really think about. Can we do the strawberries in that row and peppers in there? Um, so the peppers, <laughs> I told him I wanted hot peppers and he, if he wanted to get some bell peppers, he could do that too. He got bell peppers and he didn't get any hot peppers. Right. So, People still you know. like bells? I'm 33 and I've left my hometown due to environmental issues. My hometown's in Long Island, New York. You know, I grew up around, like, different super fun sites. A lot of my family members got cancer. I've had family members die from cancer. And it's due to these, like, environmental issues that cause the slow death. It's really hard. Like, I'm getting upset <laughs> thinking about it. And it's like, you know, it's something that's affected me personally. It's affected my mom, my dad, friends, family, you know, just losing people. And it's like, I just don't want that to happen to more people. All is just because of the stupid environmental stuff that could have been prevented, things that could have been addressed. I say this a lot to people who ask, why do you do it? You know, because some days it's like really hard and thankless and all these other kinds of things. But I see it as almost a religious pursuit. <laughs> You know, the farm isn't reinventing the wheel. You know, there's still gardens that have been in Watts as well. So those gardens have been sticking it out <laughs> and they deserve all the credit that they that they deserve. Adding another green space is, is great and it's needed anytime. <laughs> <laughs>